Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This reoccurring theme keeps coming up in my life and it is all about self-love and being consistent with love. Today we are going to talk about how to be consistent with anything in your life, including self-love, because what more do you need than to be consistent than with self-love? really found the magic in consistency and I've been able to bring that to every department of my life. And I believe when you are being consistent, you are truly self-loving yourself towards things that you know are going to better yourself. And I believe that is why I stay as consistent as I can. There's always room for growth in my world. I'm always able to get a little better than the day yesterday. Um, but what really helps me stay consistent is keeping an eye on my goal and knowing that I can achieve my goals. So as some of you may know, I used to be a personal trainer. And when I became a personal trainer, I first wanted to achieve my goal body because I knew I would be a hypocrite if I were training people and taking their money and wasn't able to do exactly what I personally wanted for my own goals. So my main focus before I even started training people was to get my goal dream body, which I fully accomplished. But what I didn't realize what that was going to do is it sparked something in my soul where I knew I could accomplish my goals. This thing that I used to put on this pedestal that was a goal that I never thought I was going to accomplish, I did. And it gave me this boost of confidence that has really carried me on through the rest of the years of trusting the process of consistency because consistency isn't like every day you're getting 10% better. Every day it's like either 0.5% or 1% better. It's like very small, but when you look back in two years, you're like, oh my gosh, all of this happens. And it's about having that patience and understanding that consistency isn't like this huge dramatic thing. It is a very slow, process but if you do stay consistent with it you will get there lately my goal has been tiktok which some of you now are here because of and every day i'm working towards my goal of either growing my tiktok or marketing my nail salon through tiktok and it is my number one priority the moment i come out of bed, I am thinking of what TikTok I am making. The moment I go to sleep, I'm thinking of what TikTok I'm going to make tomorrow. That does sound outrageous when you put it with social media because now there's like this whole thing with social media, but at the end of the day, it's still me just being consistent with one of my goals. And I did the same thing when it came to me working out. I would think of my next workout the next day and think about the workout I did today and what I'm going to do in the future. Like I just have this ability to focus in on my goals and prioritize it. And that is simply something that you just have to give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Don't look at the whole hundred miles that you have to climb. Look at inch by inch by inch by inch, day by day by day by day, and understand that when you are consistent, you will gain more self-love. And when you have more self-love, it'll be easier for you to be consistent. I think when people think of self-love, they think of face masks and all these other things, when in reality, self-love is just choosing yourself my number one tip to staying consistent is writing down your goals either in the beginning of the month or every single day and remembering why you are doing what you're doing to write my goals in the beginning of the month and sometimes in the middle or the end where i'm just refreshing my goals and where they stand and where i plan to go and i'm constantly just refocusing on what I am doing and I always have a goal. I think that's super important to staying consistent is having a goal and another goal and another goal. And it's honestly a very beautiful cycle once you get in it. To get into it is very hard, especially if you haven't been consistent for that long that long of a time. You will tend to self-sabotage yourself. But it's all about just starting off small. You don't have to change your whole day tomorrow. You can literally just take five minutes and do a workout for five minutes or to edit a video for five minutes. You don't have to do the whole thing today. Just get yourself in that rhyme. And that is always my biggest advice to people is to literally just start small with five minutes. 
And once you have the five minutes down, go to 10 minutes. Once you have the 10 minutes down, go to 15 minutes. Once you have 15 minutes, you go to 30, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And before you know it, it's like this nice little habit that you have going for yourself. So I hope this video helped someone out there. Do not forget to love yourself today in the tiniest way and do it again tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And I promise you so many goals you have will start coming to fruitation because once you have that magic pill called self-love, you are unstoppable. That is all for, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget you are what you think about.